else. I was going to them. 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 My name is to be a man or to become a man of the Rolling Thunder. My clan is Bear Clan. And I am an Odawa from the place where the crooked tree grows. So my English name is uh, Timothy Petoskey or Tim Petoskey. Petoskey is a mispronunciation of the actual name, which is Bedosage. It was mispronounced over time because for so long in American history, people of Indian descent were not favored. And so it was better that people assumed that we were Polish or some other race than Indian. My choices in life to become a member of the Army Reserve or to become a law enforcement officer in the civilian world relate directly with my pursuit to hold that space of what I believe it means to be a man and to be a man as a, as a member of a group or a tribe. So my civilian capacity and what it entails is that I'm a detective for the Department of Veterans Affairs Police Service. I investigate uh, criminal activity that has uh, to do with the VA but doesn't lapse over into what you might call white collar crimes or crimes that VA's Office of Inspector General would investigate. The reason why I consider it important is that these are our fellow soldiers that come to the VA. This is our house. How do you get something out of the job that, that, that puts, it, puts that energy back into your soul? In my case, it, it's, it's my culture. The Army Reserve is one of the few places left to us in society where we can pursue um, what some folks have referred to as, as a warrior path or a soldier path. Our opportunities in, to do that are few. Who owns history? We are still American citizens. Like it or not, in 1924, the government included us in that dynamic. And so if my ideology about what tribe means, if that's solely limited to only the Wagnagasin Odawa, then I become insular. Because the fact of the matter is, my tribe is broader. It doesn't just include the Wagnagasin Odawa, it also includes America as a whole. My father was a World War II veteran. My father's father, uh, was Paul Pluard. Uh, he served during World War I uh, as a roughly what we would refer to as a code talker today. To join both the active duty military and then later to rejoin the Army Reserve was in pursuit of the recognition of my place within a tribal concept. There is troubled history between indigenous people and the uh, American government. And some people to this day uh, would be very critical of my choice. Um, they would, and some do, refer to me derogatorily or others who've chosen the same path as a kind of a, a sellout, that we are pursuing something from the dominant culture that should belong to the dominant culture. I took my oath of office when I came back in the Army Reserve in English and in Anishinaabemowin. So, there is a sense of we, we did persevere, we did survive, our enemy made us stronger. As many other Americans, I am not descendant solely of Anishinaabek or Odawa people. My dad was dark-skinned, my mom's clearly Caucasian. When I was a kid, myself and my brother were late to school. Uh, my brother's dark-skinned, I'm not. And there was a teacher that, you know, one of the vice principals that kind of roams the hallways making sure the kids are doing the right thing. And of course, everybody's in class when we walked through the door. And 
he addressed my brother and told him, you know, that he needed to to smarten up. That if he didn't, he was going to wind up like a, a drunken Indian, like his father, like my dad. And then he looked at me and said, you know, Timothy, you just you get on to class. Like, that's my brother. We have a saying that our enemies make us strong. If we have weak enemies, we won't be strong warriors. You should never, ever wish for the absolute destruction of all of your enemies. Because without that struggle, you will become weak. My father was uh, taken into a boarding school where he attended until about the age of six. He was horribly mistreated um, while he was there. Uh, there was a, um, uh, an aspect of uh, what my biological or what my adoptive father calls boarding school trauma that was transmitted into uh, the rest of the family because of those abuses that my father uh, suffered. The boarding schools <clears throat> were intended to destroy our culture. That was the expressed mission statement. It's unequivocal. And they didn't. When I get up every morning, I offer uh, sema, or uh, tobacco, and I say a prayer. Nagijmanidon, sema. The prayer is complex and I won't translate the whole thing for you, but the moment where I turned and I accented the different directions, I'm, I am addressing the spirit of each of those places in turn. You can't explain to someone what it is like or means to be Odawa like a plate of food that you're going to eat all at once. It's something you experience, you understand at levels, you understand through time. I'm Odawa to my core. Uh, my every fiber of being is reflected uh, to me constantly in my culture. Just I can't think of doing life any other way.